A Comox Valley man says the legend of Bigfoot is not a legend at all. He says the Sasquatch does exist, and he has the evidence to prove it. The wildlife biologist is one of the world's leading experts on Sasquatches, and he has just released a new book that he hopes will break the Bigfoot taboo within the scientific community. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. The creatures have eluded him for decades, but wildlife biologist John Bindernago is convinced that Sasquatches exist. Despite the fact he's never seen one, Bindernago is one of the world's leading experts on Bigfoot. It's been discounted as myth, as hoax, as hallucination. There is a tremendous resistance to accepting the existence of an upright ape in North America. His research over the years has included interviewing several eyewitnesses and casting numerous footprints. It's evidence that fuels his belief that Sasquatches have already been discovered. And that's the premise of a second book on the topic that he's just published. The book is about the discovery process. And this has happened with other scientific discoveries, you know. But until there's an acceptable theoretical basis for it, scientists may be unwilling to accept the discovery. And that unwillingness is what Bindernago was hoping to overcome. The book has been seven years in the making, but it'll be worth it, he says, if he can make what could be living in these forests less scientifically taboo. My question is, can we at least discuss this as a, a, a discovery in process at this time on the basis of the evidence we do have? Because he spent so much time writing his second book, Bindernago hasn't had the opportunity to follow up on what he says as a growing file filled with names of people who have seen the creature, many here on Vancouver Island. But he says there's also many more out there who have seen the creature but are afraid to come forward. Most sightings do not become reports. We hear about the odd one that makes it to the media, newspapers, television, whatever. But on the other hand, people are seeing them and they may have a bad experience recounting it to a friend or a spouse and they become quiet. Bindernagel believes we have almost reached the point where people will be able to comfortably come forward with their sightings and he's ready to hear about them. Here on Vancouver Island, gee, certainly uh, Tofino, the West Coast, and, the, and this is an area where the reports don't tend to come out, but th they are occurring. You can contact John or get information on his books through bigfootbiologist.org. In the Comox Valley, Gord Kerbis, A News.